Predictably, he loathed Muscurier, but did, however, meet many eminent men who came to have their portraits painted. Just the sort of people he liked, Enlightenment thinkers. Gideon Mantell, the fossil hunter, Horace Smith, the poet, and Michael Faraday, the scientist. It's a mark of his contradictory character to consider that in the same year that Constable was painting the Haywain with its nostalgic vision of a world free of mechanization, he should also become friendly with Faraday, who was busy perfecting his electrical motor. Though he resents the time he has to spend painting his French commissions, flogging the dead horses as he called them, he compensated with long walks across the downs with his sketchbook. In one of the lectures that Constable delivered towards the end of his life, organised in fact by his friend from Brighton, Michael Faraday, he said painting is a science and should be pursued as an inquiry into the laws of nature. Why then may not a landscape be considered as a branch of natural philosophy of which pictures are but experiments? I think Brighton was a significant turning point in Constable's career. He began to regard his own work as an experimental journey and embraced scientific progress. At the same time, he turned away from his obsessive pursuit of accuracy and instead sought to reveal a deeper kind of emotional truth in his painting. His work was becoming critically and financially appreciated for the first time in his life whilst he lived here, and he expanded his range of subjects and his techniques. He painted only one six-footer in Brighton, the Chain Pier. 